Good day all. It's due time I updated my intro to Easy PHP video. What Easy PHP is is it's a program that if you're a web developer that works on content management systems, CMS packages like WordPress, PHP, BB3, vBulletin, Raven Nuke, Nuke Evo, uh, EV107 and programs like that. Uh, this allows you to work on content management systems, your WordPress, to develop themes, edit themes, edit the website without risking working on the live website. Um, I'm going to show you how to set it up and so you can work on your website locally. I use Easy PHP because it's what I'm most used to. It's Easy PHP is what I've been using since the mid 90s, mid to late 90s. There's other programs like Xamp and um, Largon that do the same thing that have uh, they work a little differently. Some of the any files and the settings in them are a little different that Xamp may be a better option for you or Largon may be a better option for you. Um, check those out. I'll try to remember to put a link to them in the description. But this is covering an update that's well overdue for Easy PHP because some things have changed. Where you get it from is I'm going to use Firefox for this is easyphp.org. Go into the downloads and you want the dev server version, not the web server version. The web server version allows you to host your website online locally from your computer. Um, the things with that is it, it requires port forwarding and your ISP may not allow the forward the ports to be opened and it just plain doesn't work. So you want the dev server version and once you have it installed Click on the icon to launch it. And it shows up down by the clock. Or in this little menu, I right click on it and go to Open Dashboard. Depending on your Windows security, it may take a little while to work. or launch, but once it launches, it lands you here. They made this a lot easier. They've done a lot of updates since my last video on this 10 years ago. And it's a lot easier to use. Um, what we need to do here is add a, add a directory. But what we first want to do is put our website in the directory so we can load it from this page and how you do that is you can click on here and it opens the folder into that where it loads the directory directories of the websites from I'm going to do this with EHP easy or PHP BB3 um, usually these packages come in zip files and you just extract the folder into the folder that that link opens remember to copy the address I'm gonna do this two different ways so <coughs> Excuse me. And then we want to add a directory. I'm going 
I do a lot of websites. I've been doing websites since the early 90s when the inter internet was first released as public. So I have a lot of websites that I've done in the past however long that is. So I have a lot of them and I just like to go into the directory and click on the folder. So I'm going to set it up that way. What you need to do is give it a name as it's asking for. I'm going to make this one the, that entire folder and then copy the or paste the path to that folder in this field. This isn't an icon for some reason. I wish they would do that. That would be nice if they did. But after you have that done, click on save and it'll load and then you have this directory in there on the launch page of EasyPHP. When you click on that, any folder you have in this folder, like for instance I'll, I'll make a new one And when you refresh it, that folder is there. And all you have to do to launch the website is click on the folder, and there's your website. You can do the installs, you can open your editor and start editing, and then all you have to do to get it, the refresh is just refresh. Or the updates is just refresh. If you want to add directories directly to your website folder so they're just right here and you can click on them easily, go into that folder, copy the address, add directory, name it, paste of the path address into that field. and you have that right there at your clicky tips click on it you can do the install you can do all you need to do so there you go there's the update to the intro to easy php i hope this is as helpful as the last video was to everyone you know the drill, like and subscribe, comment, thanks for watching.